So let's just address and find out the key expectations, the key points. Nigel, for Tata Steel? Well, for Tata Steel, on a year-on-year -year basis, it'll be an improved performance if we're looking at the consolidated numbers, which I'll just run you through. On the top line, more or less flattish, a bit our number does pop up. You know, in terms of the profitability, please don't take note of that. You know, you look at the operational performance and look at the key numbers coming in from different geographies. That's the India business as well as the Europe business. So focus more on that because in the uh, PAT number, you know, there's a big variation out there. Let's run you through that. We already have the operational update that's come in there. And in the India business, the encouraging part was even on a sequential basis, there was a mild growth of close to under percent telling you that the domestic growth has been quite good. On a year on a basis as well, there was low single digit growth. So that's good news. The mix as well was fairly good because though there was a you know mild growth, a percent growth on a sequential basis in terms of total volumes, but you had the automotive and special products business that was up close to eight percent. So the mix could work in their favor. The Netherlands business, well, you expected to degrow because they had the realigning of the furnace that's taking place out there. That's already come through. While in the UK business, yes, demand has been quite weak out there. But the key numbers to track for Tata Steel, one is the India business. The number we're working with is 14,550 rupees per ton. That's the crucial number. While Europe will continue to struggle, and the number we have is it will continue to deliver a net loss of close to around $180 per ton. The India operations, what, what does it support? Well, you have little higher volumes, you have better pricing as well, and input cost as well. We'll uh, see a bit of a dip out there for Europe. Operating leverage didn't play out. It's negative operating leverage out there, and input costs as well have gone out. The management commentary will be very, very crucial. So let's see how that goes. Expect the numbers to come in by around 6 to around 7 p.m. later today. Back to you. Okay, that's quite late, 6 to